Radio. Addendum. No, not addendum. Epilogue. No, not epilogue. Footnote. No, not e- footnote. Introduction. Right. Oh, is this see. I have spent decades floating around the thoughtful people, even quite a few proper writers. Over the last seven years, but three years, four years, especially, all of those kinds of people have really gone inside themselves, or 99% of them. They're hurting. They're full of... I only wish to keep on. I've done copious amounts of writing in the last 22, 23 years, and I entirely let go 15 years ago. I just splurge. And actually, the more you do it, the, the, the more interesting, kind of poetical... Even speaking, sometimes, it's almost as if the angels take over. Now, I refer to all the others. I'm not like all the others. One of the reasons is, but one of the things that I wish to write about is, I spend 50% at least of my waking hours, and I do mean waking hours, from 5.30, 6 in the morning, outdoors it's got to be outdoors in the uv now i sand if i've got a shiny screen laptop i sand it and whenever there's weather like today it's now about 13 degrees tomorrow's going to be really nice for years i take my laptop outdoors not because i'm a techie 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 but because if i'm outdoors A, this UV, is, and I'm a science expert, I spent my uh, years from about 9 till 17 on small farms high up in the hills of North Wales. I understand science. Uh, Raising sheep, sheep, rabbit farm, various horses, various other animals. And then I had uh, a zoo for my daughter. Now, if you understand animals, it's life. You also understand science. And I look at science, I enjoy science. Science changes every few years. The latest findings become the incorrect past findings. All the science says, if you're outdoors, <clears throat> there are things in UV we don't even understand yet. But somehow bolster you. So, that's the first thing. Might seem inane. Everything I ever do has got the outdoors in me. And the last over two and a half years, living in a small van, I don't sit in the back. I sit in the front. The light, then it's the actual exact same amount of UV comes through a vehicle windscreen. But... It's about light. I never write in the dark. Now, obviously, in Britain, although it just so happens that I've been based in Cornwall the last year nearly, Cornwall is the most prickly, unfriendly, fake theme park place I've... One of the, one of the worst I've ever been to in the world. It's got nothing to do with this is any kind of destination. It's merely a case of, to be outdoors, one needs it to be 12, 13 degrees Celsius or more, and ideally not too windy. So, my existence is based around being outdoors. That, I would wish, if I, no, I have written some actually quite good poems over the last uh, 15 years. For example, I do not believe poetry will change the world, unfortunately, but passages, bits of writing, observations, unique takes on things. If anything I have have written and need to edit and work on a bit, 
goes anywhere in the future, it's going to have this great big banner across the top saying, done in the sunlight, in the ultraviolet. Okay, if you live in a city, done also in fresh air. I have deliberately not lived uh, in cities other than a few weeks at the most visit. Last one I visited was Cochabamba, Bolivia. Great little place, but fresh air, ultimately. Fresh air makes you live longer. Actually, you can see it in people's skin. Right, turn camera off, carry on walking. But that really, I mean, in theory, it's cheaper to live outdoors uh, in various ways. But uh, writing about that, the economics of super simpler living is also something when you're outdoors also, you don't tell tales on, uh, uh, scrub that, you don't tell lies. It's like nature says, don't fool yourself. Don't write things that are, if you can help it, even debatable. Get to the deep, deep, weird truth of anything, even if it works against you as a entity in society. There we go, waffle, waffle, waffle.